Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Photography in Life. My name's Carly and today's episode will also be featured on F-Stop Lounge. Now the topic today is for you photographers out there and it's about sharpening your images. Welcome to my computer screen. So today's video is very special because it is actually my first screen capture tutorial. And today's tutorial is on the best way to sharpen your images in Photoshop. So I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC, but this technique is, it can be used for Photoshop CS2 onwards. So it's a pretty useful tool. And the star of the show is, of course, my cat. Ezio. I know she's been in a couple of videos but look at her, how could I not include her? And also I don't have to worry about permission slips on such late notice. Let's get started then. Now I will be using the high pass feature and this photograph it's already had colour correction and just my logo but other than that there's no sharpening. And as you can see, it's already quite a sharp image, but just around the edges, you can see it's a little bit soft. So we're going to improve that. Now what you have to do is you just have to make a new layer. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do shortcuts because I don't know the shortcut tools for PC and Mac. So it will just be confusing. So you just make a layer by dragging it into the new layer um, icon there. And then... All you have to do is you go filter, other, and then high pass. And then you'll get this grey screen that comes up. And you can see here the detail that is going to come up once you put the sharpening on the photo. And you can do as little or as much as you want. As you can see here, like they're not, there's not going to be much sharpening in the eyes. And what I really want to do is try and make the eyes really pop and make them stare at whatever she's staring at, like a prey. So for this tutorial, I'll, I'll make it quite intense so you can actually see the effect. So I've done it at 6.2 there. Just click OK. And then all you have to do is go into this section and just hit overlay. And that is basically it. And the best thing about it, it, this is it's already on a new layer. You can make it as less as you want in the opacity section if you feel it's too much. But in this case, I think it's pretty good. And you can just really tell like all the details in the fur and in the eyes and in the nose. And once you see the before and after, I think you'll find that the effects are really great. What do you think? So that's it. I hope you liked my first tutorial. And stay tuned because I will be doing a lot more of these tutorials. There you have it guys, thanks for watching. If you liked what you see, please subscribe to Carly Elizabeth Photography. You can also follow my business on all the social media platforms. I'll leave them in the links below. And yeah, I'll continue to produce these videos if you like them. Okay, see ya.